in this video we are learning how to bisect a line in geometric construction and the question goes like this it says draw a line a b 80 millimeter long and bisect it now we say you should draw a line a b 80 millimeter long what you should do here is this you move your t square and you draw the line so let's assume that this is our line this way right i'll draw a faint line on that faint line i am going to pick a point of that line i'll call that point i'm picking i'll call it point a so from point a i'm going to measure so from a to 8 is 80 right so 8 centimeter is 80 millimeter so i'm going to mark that point my point b so since that is what i'm looking for i'm going to what ticking it this way you can see that i'm going to what ticking it this way so it meaning that this is my a and this point here is what my point b now i will now take my t square since we are told to bisect this line a b now i'll now take my t my compass i'll place it in between a and what and b you can see that as my radius taking a and b as radius holding one part of it at b i'm going to strike up this way you can see that i'll strike up this way and i'm going to also strike down this way with the same radius i'll move it to a Place it at a I'll strike up this way where they bisect. I'm going to call it point C. Right? I'll bisect down this way. So where they cut, I'll call it what point D. Now I will now take my meter rule. I'll connect C and what? And D. Right? So if I do it that way, from C to D this way. I'm going to draw a straight line, but the line will be what? Faint. So this way. So where they meet, where they bisect, they meet at a point, point D. So that is it. Bisection means you're dividing it into what? Into two, right? Two different parts. So if you measure from here to here, it will be equal to what? From here to here. So let's take the analysis and see. So since here to here is 80, automatically, a to D should be what? Should be what? 40. So let's see. Now you can see that from A to what? To D is given as what? It's given as 40. And D to B is also 40. So we can easily say that what? My AD is equal to what? BD is equal to what? 40 right so that is what we have there most times you might be given any length it can be a b can be 120 a b can be 200 210 and so on and so forth depending on your lecturer or your teacher specification a b can varies from question to question so if you found this video helpful please don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel Thanks for watching.